Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stay Gamers, and welcome. So, this is the first official tour of the Underworld server. We're going to be taking a look at players' creations, their bases, and just a whole variety of cool things that they're working on in this very strange environment. So first up, we're taking a look at one of the outposts that's tucked in here. Now, I'm going to warn you, this video might be a little bit dark, so I'm going to use my spectator lights as much as possible, and I'm going to try my best to stop disorientating you, because each player is on his own individual plane. Um, there is no up, there is no down, there is just a matter of, <laughs> well, uh, wherever the hell you want to be. So here we have ADI's outpost. Now ADI were on the Mad Max server, we saw their cool creations there. Well, let's take a look around their outpost here. So first off, we can see that they've got this large ship that's docked in this dugout. It still looks like it's under some sort of renovations. We can have a quick dip inside. Now something a lot of you guys wanted to see in the other videos is more of the inside of the ship's layout. So this looks like some sort of transport ship, we've got some cool basic windows on the side there. Let's have a little bit more of a look inside the base. So they've got one of the miners up there, one of the large ones. It's connected at the back via a docking port. And they've also got this cool little fighter type craft here with a Gatlin gun turret at the front. Of course, we've got some new server requirements in this world, so players have to abide by them. Now, as we head into this lovely hangar you got here, we can see that there's this beautiful little yellow catwalk going around the exterior and of course it's a dark place so you know when you've got some lighting like this it really does build the atmosphere so here is in fact a torpedo launcher so this thing prints off torpedoes and then it can launch them at the enemy this particular design is using ion thrusters quite interesting looks like it's also got a combination of hydrogen there as well so they've been as cost effective as possible and of course as we come to the rear of the ship they've got a little bit of the inner workings there so over here, it looks like they've also got some hydrogen tank craft that's been tucked into the side. And then they've got themselves a control room in that area. Really quite awesome indeed to see this. Let's have a look at what this is over here as well. So this is tor torpedo ammo ingredients and they've also got the bomb ammo ingredients. So maybe it's something that they can quickly pick and work out, you know, how to create them if they have to. So we've got the other hangar that's leading through this little corridor course we've got a little briefing room just look at that that's absolutely beautiful you can see the logo if i turn my lights off here you can see how atmospheric that is of course all these factions briefings can, can be ducted in that particular room let's continue going through so over here we, <laughs> we have a big sign saying we need uranium so they must be running out running a base like this can be quite costly on the old uranium drum we've got a blast door sealed up here and then we've got this really nice hangar let's just have a look at the layout so in here, it looks like we've got a variety of different ships that are taking shape in these different hangar bays, all plumbed in. And since they've got more resources on this server than the Mad Max world that they've played in the past, it makes ships building a lot easier. And of course, they have themselves some propaganda. Beautiful. But here, we are stronger. Okay, cool. And we'll, we'll have to see if anyone's got any posters up, you know, from the, the Mad Max world as well, to see if they've continued on. So back through here, we've got a secret access area with some little rooms, I'm guessing this is where their production and other things are like that. I'm not going to go too far into there, it'll just be a lot of wiring and production itself. Nothing in here, no seriously, just a dead end. Alright, I see I see how it is, we're going right through here. Okay, so they've got like a secret little mining vehicle at the back there. I'm sure that was a trap. They're working on something in here, something top secret. I can't just quite work it out yet, but we'll see. I really like the layout of these corridors, as well as the turrets they've put in here. So, raiding this place is going to be hard. So, let's just have a quick dip into these other rooms. We've got a lovely little lab going on in here. Look at that. That's something out of, like, a movie. We've got, on honestly, another dead end. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Cheeky buggers playing with me. So... We've got a little bit of lab that leads up there. We've got a secondary story there, so it looks like they can maybe come watch the experiments that they're doing. Really nice laid out outposts. I'm really enjoying touring this one. Another turret that needs a little bit of completion that leads us back down to there. So, so we've got one of these rooms over here. Now this might not be a dead end either. This is some sort of secret room with some strange things going on apparently. They have a lot of microwaves, cooking equipment, maybe a widescreen television so they can watch what's going on at the same time. Oh, they've got some little 
Clan Cola machines there as well. A very cool outpost. ADI never disappoint when they're building stuff like this, and the colour scheme just really fits in with his world. A lovely little place. Let's continue on, and we'll head to the next location. So as we head into the depths of the cave, we come across the SSA base. Now, this SSA base has some really cool features. The first off is its silo type design. So we've got these little silo entrances, you can see as we enter into here. We'll just level our camera off so we can understand the direction of the base. We've got two ships that one that looks like it's been in some sort of fighting situation needs to be repaired and the other one over here that looks like it's in pristine condition. Look at the design of that, pretty damn cool. Looks almost like some sort of modern jet fighter. A few turrets and there's the blast door there. So these guys are relying on stealth and just keeping hidden. So we've also got some interesting little notes going down there. Notice to all recorders, streamers, do not show any of our terrain outside of the base, leading up to the base. I love how the people try to give me these security notices. I'm not going to listen to them. I'm going to hide your base the best I can. So let's continue going straight down into this place. So as you can see, we've got the SSA. We've got one of the little refinery systems down at the side here. Look at that. They've got this lovely lighting system that goes on when you look down here. Look at that. The hydrogen tanks are stored around the side. We've got access into these various other areas where there's maintenance and other sort of access corridors going down. And if we continue working our way all the way down to the bottom, we actually have a captured squid that one of them managed to take in one of the events the other day. We've got another little fighter that's going on here that's under construction, pretty damn cool, as well as their printing system that works on a rotating printer and then you've got the arm that lowers itself down. It's a bit like a, um, a record player of sh ship printers. Pretty damn cool. Below here as well, we've got a miner. It looks like they're trying to maybe hollow out this area a little bit further. We've also got these really heavily armoured box-looking ships. That'll be interesting to see what the SSA guys do with them. Here we've got another one of them rocket sort of ships that we saw from the Mad Max world. This one looks like it's been converted so it can fly around. Really cool designs that we're seeing here. Let's see if we can get a little bit further into the base. You can see we've got some more little storage bays going on here. Someone's actually named some of the ships that's going on. Really cool little fighter designs as they clamped them onto roofs or everywhere they can. Just that there's gyroscopes. They've got these little access points with lighting in. Really an appreciation of some of the designs. They've got a little cryo room going on. This base is really compact but seems to have everything uh, you know, an arm's reach, and this large shaft will allow engineers to go up and down quite easily. We've also got a little blueprint room going on in here, pretty cool. So I guess this is where they can come get a blueprint or um, see what they need, you know, just to help them build a little bit quicker. There's also some more offline pods through here and a little bit of a storage bay. Very cool little system that we've got here. Let's continue on to the next outpost. So as we're looking around the server, there's also smaller bases. People have decided instead of building underground, to build on the surface and this is an example of one of them you can see that they're quite open in construction they've of course got some segments that go underground through various bunker entrances and stuff but you can see they've got the majority of their production welding services on top here just sitting right at the bottom of the cave in my opinion this is rather risky but let's continue having a look around this location so the main bulk of it looks like they've got themselves some drill ships to dig out some of the areas as well as some fighters type vehicles or is this some sort of transport pod it looks like it's got a lot of docking ports on it so i'm guessing it's some sort of transport vehicle very unique quite interesting maybe it's just like a cargo ship to get around the map yeah it looks like it's some sort of cargo vessel quite cool indeed let's continue on we'll have a look at some more of the bases so we're now over at the gbu outpost now this is another small external one with some internal renovations starting to go on but what i really liked about this one was they had these cool little orb sort of mobile defense platforms that they could move around and it also looks like they managed to capture another one of the creatures from the server it's it's not intact but it looks like they're trying to do something with it they've also got the welding system various mining sort of crafts a big larger miner there that's critical to survival and it looks like they've got the start of a hangar system that's beginning to develop they've also got a little bit of an enclosed area to protect ships from ramming or various other things that could happen to you if you're not too careful so we're heading to another one of the smaller outposts now the reason i wanted to show you this is this particular ship here so i've seen two of these on the server i'm really interested to actually see exactly how they'll work and these are basically printed missile launchers so this is the second one we've seen on the server so far 
They follow a similar sort of principle in design, but it's going to be quite cool to see these weapons actually fired at each other, reloaded, re-welded up, and see if they're actually effective in the multiplayer environment like this. The rest of the base, you've got your standard welding mining ships. Of course, you've got some good old memes there, as you can see. <laughs> And they've got a little bit of a welder pit over there, but another quite simple base that's focused on construction and getting ships together. Let's keep on moving. So as we continue our tour of the server, we come across even more little remote outposts. Some of these are hidden in remote corners of the cave system. This particular little outpost base looks like it's got a selection of small ships and fighters. We've also got this drill ship and it leads into this really cool shaft that they managed to carve out in here. So this could be maybe future hangars, something else planned in here. We'll just have to wait and see and see what happens to this place. Will it get a chance to evolve or will players try to take out whoever the owners are? But you can see there's a lot of construction going on there's still catwalks for some reason maybe people are just leaving them in from the mad max world so we've got the medical bay up here it looks like it's not yet finished they've just got the basic systems operational and we've got the production up there on top very cool systems i like to see this it's going to be very nice when the ships start moving through here and the up there production let's continue looking around the server so i want to show you one of the more unusual outposts that we've got here on the server now, from what my admins and moderators have been telling me, this particular base was constructed completely by projector. So the player had planned his layout, planned his systems offline, and then projected and built this particular pod. So I'm guessing there's, there's still things left to construct inside here, but this is like the complete survival no in a energy. tin sort of concept they they know exactly what they need to build they know the layout that's most efficient because they built it in creative they just need to fill in the exterior and build all the components up inside another cool idea if you're thinking of building on the server there's also this little mystery tunnel over here that i'm still unsure exactly what they're planning with this place it's going to cool, be quite cool to see how they develop it. So to wrap this up, we've got a base here that's been raided. Now, I'm not too sure on the situation of what happened, but if you're not too careful, players will find wherever you're hiding and destroy what you've got and take your supplies. Now, of course, in this video, there's been plenty of bases that, that I've not managed to cover. This this easily over 25 30 bases on the server maybe even more as it grows and develops so i'm not gonna be able to cover every single one of them so i'd like to thank you guys for watching and in the comment section below i'd like you to choose your favorite base that you saw in the video